And I'm sure people ask you all the time was the uh, the Christopher Walken um, video. Yeah, yeah. Of uh, Fat Boy Slim. Uh, yeah, the song is a Weapon of Choice. Weapon of Choice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did that come about? I mean, you got Christopher Walken. Did you know that he had like a dancing background? I had and known had, he t- could dance somehow. Maybe I saw him on Saturday Night Live or something. Okay. Like do some dance. Mm-hmm. And so like when I was thinking about it, I also love making dance videos. Like oh. I just love filming dance. Okay. And like I did this Bjork video called It's So So Quiet. That oh, was yeah. the first one I did that was like getting to you know, choreograph and dance. Mm-hmm. And then I just kept doing more. And um, and so I did a Fat Boy Slim video of, the, of his record before for, called uh, For Praise You. Oh, Praise yeah, Praise You, you the Torrance. Torrance uh, Community Dance yeah, Group one. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so I wanted to do dance again, but I didn't want to do like lo-fi amateur dancing. I wanted to gotcha. do like a real dance, like dance production thing, just like amazing dancing and the song was awesome and and then I was like who do I want to film dancing and from like <laughs> years earlier I was like remembered Christopher Walken on Saturday Night Live and I was like what about that would be amazing yeah <laughs> and so uh I talked to Norman Cook from Fat Boy Slim I was like my idea is basically just filming uh Christopher Walken dancing and he's like if he'll do it, that's <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and so I wrote up this treatment. And the treatment was really simple. And it was kind of like like it was, my dad would always come to, when he my dad would come to town. He'd stay at one of those airports uh, hotels by the airport, those okay. Marriotts. Oh yeah. And so I just imagine my dad at all these hotels, traveling around the country at the Marriott kind of hotels, right. and um, and just sort of the mundane, sort of repetitive, numbing quality of that and. Uh, and so that, that was sort of the idea was like the fantasy that comes out of that. Yeah. And, um, and also my dad kind of like, he's, you know, I remember like watching Deer Hunter with my dad. So I had that connection with Christopher okay. and my dad. And, and then my dad also, when we were driving like uh, on road trips, he would sing show tunes. Oh, really? And so it's like somehow it all just made sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then, um, and so, yeah, I, I call up, I, somehow got Christopher Walken's number and got, you know his, we talked to his agent and okay. I pitched it to his agent and I pitched it to his manager and and then they pitched it to him and, and Chris got on the phone he's like can you do a good Christopher Walken imitation? No. I, <laughs> I thought you would be able to. I know but it's very I've never even tried that's you know it's very like well Spike. Spike. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I can't what do is that this dance, dance thing what is, you, you want to do? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Tell me more about it. My brother can do it. And we could call him up and get him to do oh, it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, the, uh, so he, but he basically was like, well, you know, asking a lot of questions and kind of not sure about it. And then at a certain point, he just got quiet. And he's like, you know, I'm 57 years old and I don't know when I'm going to get to do this again. And I could tell he just loved dancing. Yeah. And nobody ever asked him to dance. Wow. Like, and he grew up. He told me like he grew, he started on th- in Broadway mm. as, in the chorus line, basically okay. dancing in these big, you know, musical wow. numbers in the '60s or whenever it was, and um, so uh, yeah, he came out and did it. And it's crazy, it's incredible, so lucky, yeah. so wow. lucky that he did it. I mean, that was such a good. When he goes out and rings the bell, right? Do you remember this mm-hmm. video? Yeah, yeah. Okay, when he goes out and rings the bell, <laughs> when, he, when he rings the bell and he comes back in, I've always wondered this. And he jumps on the baggage yeah. uh, carousel. carousel thing and he spins around. Is that him doing that? That's him doing it, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> we I know that. he's not jumping off the balcony and yeah, I know yeah. you had some stunt Yeah, yeah, doubles, we had some stunt. Know. No, but he did spin that one. He spun it around. We, we got, yeah, because I'd, I'd fooled around with luggage carts a million times. Okay. So I, I, knew what they, <laughs> you knew the... I knew what they were possible. Okay. What was possible of them. And then we got one of those in the rehearsal studio and, and figured out that move. And then gotcha. Chris, Chris rehearsed it. And, and, okay. Know. He's was, also very agile. Yeah, because I, I could just imagine like that could be a, a, a crazy fall. <laughs> that's so funny. That's the shot you wanted to talk about. No. Oh, another shot I want to know <laughs> okay. real quick too. I mean, I like I love this shit. I love this shit. We'll get back to skating. But... Uh, <laughs> When he comes and he's dancing through the hallway in the the, the double the, mirrors. The mirror, yeah. Did you guys put those mirrors there? Yeah, we built that. You built that. Yeah. Ah. Okay. We just got mirrors, like uh, hardware store mirrors for the uh, closet doors. Yeah. And just made a. Because in my mind, I'm thinking like, why would they put two mirrors on both sides right, right. to make that? You, we did it in would get like sick. upstairs. Yeah, there was like a big like conference room, and we just built like a hundred foot section of mirrors in the wow. conference room. Raj, you got to watch some of these videos, oh, man. If you've never seen Spike's work, you should, uh, you should check it out. It's well good. It's well good. I've seen Blind Video Days. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>